Dairy Queen. It's one of the most well-known ice cream chains known to man. Reaching back to the mid-1900s, it has become one of the greatest eating establishments of all time and the biggest place for people of all ages to eat ice cream. Dairy Queen was founded in 1940 by a few small-time guys with a few very big ideas. They had introduced a new kind of tasty treat and in the process introduced the start of the franchising business. Two big companies that are doing very well, well-known, great reputations. Everybody has a story about Orange Julius or everybody has a story about Dairy Queen when they were kids going with their grandparents and their parents. And it's always a great feeling type of story that people have. So it, it's, it's a type of business that's generating smiles. And that's what kind of drew me to it. You know, positive attitude type of business. Uh, you know, always, always the friendly type of concept is something that we continue to push. Always keeping the workforce uh, happy as well. Trying Here. to, yeah. <laughs> Doing what we can. Since 1940, the Dairy Queen system's recipe for success has been a simple combination of hardworking people, great tasting food, and delicious tasty treats. The creators of Dairy Queen introduced a new kind of dessert treat and, in the process, created the foundation of the franchising industry. In 1938, in Illinois, a father and son began experimenting with a soft frozen dairy product. See, colder, hard-packed ice cream numbs the taste buds. The higher temperature of the soft-served treat they developed enabled people to experience more flavor, and it tasted more like fresh, homemade ice cream. You got the Blizzard, which was uh, patented by Dairy Queen in 1986. It's classic. They've been coming up with new Blizzards every month for, what, 23 years now? If it was 86, yeah. And, um, you know, they have classics like um, the Banana Split, which was, I think, patented in the 30s. I'm not sure. And um, Brownie Earthquake. They're just classic Dairy Queen treats that have brought people happiness for almost 100 years. A good friend and customer who owned a walk-in ice cream store agreed to feature their product at a 10-cent all-you-can-eat sale. And within two hours, more than 1,600 samples of the new dessert were served. Soon, it became clear that soft-serve ice cream was a natural fit for small, independent ice cream shops, and the foundation of franchising was born. So tell me, Bill, how did the concept of the soft-serve ice cream come about? Uh, well, basically, uh, from what I recall from my training uh, for the Dairy Queen, how they got involved with it uh, back in 1940 was there was an ice cream store, the gentleman who owned it, uh, had lost his refrigeration and all his ice cream that he had started melting. And so he was trying to devise a way to still make some money off the product without having to just throw it all away. And so what they did was they actually stirred the hard ice cream that was beginning to melt and softened it up so that they could just at least keep it cool in, the, in an area where they had ice blocks in there. And what they did was they sold off the product as soft serve ice cream. It became a big hit. Everybody that was trying at that particular time loved it. So then that person then went to think about, well, gee, how do we make this perhaps into a business since it seems so popular? Everybody likes the concept of soft ice cream. And essentially it's a, it became a great idea for kids too because now it's something easier for them to eat. They didn't have to bite into something that was hard ice cream. And so they had to devise a machine that would keep the ice cream cold yet soft. And they had to inject just the amount of right air, right amount of air into the system. Put too much air in, you make something that looks like a marshmallow. Not enough air, and well, then you're getting something that's a little grainy. It's a, it's got too much vanilla flavor. Uh, it doesn't look right, and it would tend to melt a lot easier. So there's the combination of air and temperature combined to come up with the perfect formula and consistency of soft serve. This innovative product that captured the fancy of families would create retail growth and demand like never before. In 1941, fewer than 10 Dairy Queen stores existed, but by 1947, 
the number had grown to 100. Within eight years, 2,600 Dairy Queen franchises dotted the map with many more to come. Today, the Dairy Queen system is one of the largest fast food systems in the world, with nearly 6,000 restaurants in the United States, Canada, and other countries. And although much has changed in the Dairy Queen system throughout the years, one constant has remained. Dairy Queen locations are still, as they have always been, the best place to find Little League teams celebrating a victory, business people on their lunch break, and families taking time out to enjoy great food and soft serve treats. Okay, um, what do you like about Dairy Queen? What do I like about Dairy Queen? What are the, some of the great things you like to eat? The people, fabulous people that I work with. Yeah. Dairy Queen's my favorite ice cream. Isn't there like Oreo, Butterfinger, Reese's Pieces, cotton candy, or whatever? It's like a Candyland fantasy. Um, and that just goes to show how much of a big part that it was of our adolescent lives, you know?